Welcome to Alpha Cave. Today we're going to be talking about two investors. Very briefly, Robert Kiyosaki, who is very famous for his book, Rich Dad, Poor Dad, and Dave Ramsey, who is very popular for his book, The Total Money Makeover, as well as many other books. Now they have two very different styles. Robert Kiyosaki, first of all, likes to invest with borrowed money. And he does this because that way he never has to pay taxes because you do not pay taxes on borrowed money, which is a nice way to do it. He finds a property, he goes on ahead and buys that with borrowed money. He makes it better, fixes it up. Then he borrows money against what it's valued at now, buys more property, does the same thing there, keeps on doing the same thing and keeps on buying more properties with borrowed money and he never pays taxes. Now, Dave Ramsey, on the other hand, has a very different philosophy. First, for him, it's save money, pay off all your debt, make sure you have an emergency fund, make sure that then you have enough money for your children to go to college, pay off your house, and then, and only then, start building your wealth by investing into other things. He believes in buying things cash, and not have to borrow money. Two very different styles. I believe these are two very different styles that offer different points of views and different advantages. Tax breaks versus no debt. I mean, they're, it's very different uh, ways of thinking. At the end of the day, do you wanna be in debt or do you prefer everything paid off and maybe pay your taxes as you make money? I've done both and I prefer actually when you pay something off. We've bought a car that we paid off all cash and we've also bought a condo that we didn't buy all cash and we still pay our payments. And one of the things that David Ramsey says is, yeah, you don't, you think you're gonna make all your money with renting it out, but sometimes you can't rent out the condo or you can't rent out a house or you can't rent out whatever you're trying to rent out a business uh, because you don't have people to occupy it. You don't have renters. So that happens. And then you have to have that money on hand to be able to pay off the months that you're not renting the locations. So you can get into trouble, which is one of the reasons he says, pay off your house first and make sure that you're not in debt so that you can handle what you're investing in with no problems. I get that. I also get what Robert Kiyosaki is saying, where he says, hey, don't pay taxes. I just keep on borrowing. He says he's a billion dollars in debt. According to the internet, he's worth a hundred million dollars, but he's a billion dollars in debt. The internet also says Dave Ramsey is worth $200 million, but he has no debt. So very different styles. I'd like to know what you guys think and how you guys invest. I think a lot of times if we start investing when we're debt free completely, a lot of us would never invest. So I can see where people are going to lean towards Robert Kiyosaki. However, Dave Ramsey has very good points. And as you get older, you might consider saying, hey, I want to retire soon. Maybe I don't want to be in debt. Tell me what you think.